Hi, my name is Victor Christensen from SecPoint.com. In this video presentation, I want to show you how you can connect a portable penetrator to a Wi-Fi network. As we can see here, I have a portable penetrator and I have the two Wi-Fi adapters. The first one is the Alpha and I can just turn it around and we see it's the AWS 051NH. This is both 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz. Then we have the other adapter and this is the AWS 036H and this is only 2.4 GHz adapter. In this presentation I'll be using the AWS 036H to do the connection. So I simply take the adapter here and then I connect it via this cable now it's connected but still we don't have an, an antenna and we can see here I have two antennas the first one is the 5 dBi this is very practical if you are traveling and then I have the larger one is, that is an 8 dBi in this test I will simply screw on the 8 dBi antenna and we see it is very easy to screw on and unscrew antennas so now it's screwed on and I can even erect it. I go back here to the interface and we see the connect to Wi-Fi. I click it. Now it starts up the program and I go to preferences and I make sure it says VLAN 0 for the wireless interface and ETH 0 for the wired interface. I then go down and click on the OK button now we see some networks start to pop up. I can even see here on the device that it is starting to blink very heavily. And as you can see it's blinking. I now go back to the program and I simply click the refresh and I will get a refreshed overview of all the Wi-Fi networks. Now we see here the E960 that runs on VPA2 and this is my own network. I go to the properties and here we can see the key and I have already typed it in. Click the OK. Then I go up and click the connect. And once you are connecting to a Wi-Fi network it will typically connect via DHCP. And we can see here validating authentication. So now it's checking the password. Now it's obtaining the IP address and uh, when you are obtaining an IP address via DHCP this can take up to a minute depending on how strong the signal is. We see here I got the IP address 192.168.1.193. I now go in my browser, in this case the Chromium and we can see I have access to the internet. I can go up here in, uh, in Google and I can put in test and we see it's going and here I have the SecPoint website. So for more information please visit SecPoint.com and thank you for watching this video presentation.